Good morning, folks. The Indonesian volcano Rokatenda popped and at least one died in the pyroclastic outflow. We will monitor for more eruptions. Top article today is a perspective on longer-term major ice ages, not like the mini one we often discuss. This shows definitively that 100,000 years passing tends to bring about an ice age and also identifies 20,000 and 40,000 year cycles. The ice ages are partially driven by Earth's orbital changes over time. For example, the January perihelion of Earth will be in July in just 10,000 years. The rest of the story is simple glacial feedback. A tour has become deadly atop the Philippines, and this number will likely rise as people are missing and the rain continues, and then it's headed for China. Precipitation still sticking south with the high pressure atop the larger body and sweeping it to New Zealand thereafter, rough Tuesday coming there. The killer heat, deadly storms and flooding has all but disappeared in Europe. Enjoy this little break, my friends. Rain and storms will pop all across the U.S. today, but those central states housing the convergence will again see the worst of it. Dr. Tony Phillips, mirroring my words from last night, there is no CME signature of any kind in the solar wind data. The speed continues to drop with density not making moves either. KP index is showing absolute geomagnetic quiet. Kicking to the magnetic connectivity, we now have four connections hitting the new coronal hole facing Earth. Umbral fields are generally open, except at the lowest levels, but that will not stop this massive coronal hole from keeping the quake watch high. Last night's score explanation said we could go from 7 to 8 by this morning. Well, here we see double six-pointers, Indonesia and one in New Zealand. The USGS has no readings of this 6.6 .6 in the North Pacific. China quake was above average last night, many aftershocks, and Hawaii isn't used to 4.8s. The watch score this morning is 8. But oh, there is another story on the sun. Sunspots began developing two nights ago, and as of this morning, there are multiple spots capable of larger flares. Delta development here for sure, with the second and potential third climbing over the limb behind him there. The flaring nearly hit M range last night. It has quieted since. The growing wonder is to blame here. The double peaked solar flare hit C8 level and does appear to have ejected some coronal particles but also appears to be very very small. Likely no concern except for what might be bigger and to come. Somehow that massive earth facing filament still hanging on. More shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.